we hear about AI agents everywhere. So what are AI agents? A lot of times when we hear about it, it's actually like just a LLM call, but we need to know what are actual like AI agents. So first of all, AI agents, they're basically just AI programs that can reason and also operate autonomously. It can take decision based on the input, the query that you give to the agent. It will take decisions, it has memory, it has access to different tools as well, and then it can operate autonomously based on the tools that it has access to, but also the user's intent. So the core of AI agent is the model, tools, and also the instructions that you're given. Just as traditional large language model, you can also give it instructions, but here we can act like have reasoning as well. We can have chain of thought, so it's actually like taking actions just as a human. So we have three main parts, where the first one is the model. So this is the brain of the agent. It helps do the reasoning. It can take actions as well, so act and respond to the users. So this is basically just a large language model. Send the request, get the response back if you're using the cloud ones. Then we can have different tools. So this is the body of the agent. It enables it to interact with the real world as well. We can have tools. Every, everything can act like be a tool. We just need to construct it, wrap it up as a tool. We also have the MTP servers now, and then the agents can have access to multiple tools. Based on the input, it will act like, based, based on the input, the agent will do the reasoning, choose what tools to use, take the actions, and then generate a response after. Then the last one here is instructions, so we can guide the agent's behavior as well. So better the model, better it has at following instructions as well, which is kind of logical, but we can guide the agent's behavior, it can do the reasoning, choose tools that it wants, so this is pretty much the most essential when we're talking about AI agents, which is what we're wrapping around the LLM. Then for AI agents, we also have agent memory, knowledge, storage, reasoning, and so on that we build around it. So we can build software systems, we can have multiple agents working together and so on. So this is when we start to get into the AI agent world and not just a chain of LLM calls So reasoning. It can think before responding and also analyzing the results of the actions. So we can take actions, call different tools, generate a response, and then also analyze the response often in the agent world, we have it act like generating something, we get the response, we maybe have some input data as well, then it can act like go back again, analyze the response that it has generated, compare it up against the input data and so on, to analyze it, make correction, and basically just be verification with a feedback loop as well. So this reasoning here improves the agent's ability to solve problems with multiple steps. So this is kind of like the thinking tools or basically just the reasoning with chain of thought in the exact same way that a human reasons. Then we have knowledge, so the main specific information the agent can search on demand. That could be different databases, files, data, any table, any database, pretty much any storage that it is specific. We can wrap a tool around it that we can get access to the agent. We can directly connect a rack system, so a retrieval augmented generation system, where we basically just have a table with our documents and then the agent can access it. So this takes us to the next point here, which is vector databases and agentic rack. So when we store it, we're going to cover it in another video with vector databases, because we need to cover this in very detail. It's very essential we have vector databases because this makes it much faster and much easier for the agents to access a ton of information out there. And then we have the traditional rack. We also have agentic rack where the agent does the reasoning and then it figures out what the main specific information do we actually want to extract. Then we have storage. We can save the session history, the state and so on. Every time you make an interaction with an agent, we store the history. You can have multi-turn conversations, follow up questions and so on, and also just the state if you're extracting specific things from your agents, structured output and so on. So this makes the agents stateful. If you just use a large language model and so on, it is not stateful, so we can keep track of the state across multiple runs. We can save the history and state, both memory, but also to a database. So this enables multi-turn conversations. We can also, with storage, have multi-sessions, multi-states. So we can have multiple users interacting with the same agent, where it just has a session for itself, but that's for another video. The last one here is memory, the ability to store recall information from previous interactions, but it can also learn user preferences and personalized responses as well. So when you interact with the agent over time under the hood, it can actually like learn the style that, that you like, who you are, what you have been talking with the agent in different sessions with. It can just create a summary of each session, 
create under the hood a summary of you and then learn to use preferences and make personalized responses just for you. So you're probably seeing this with ChatGPT. Now you can also go in and ask it, what do you know about me from previous interactions and sessions and so on. So this is exactly what they're doing. This is the steps where we take LLMs towards the agentic pipeline. AI agents is pretty much the future. It's only going in one direction. They're getting more and more capable. The reasoning still comes from the last language models. Then we build tools, software systems around the LLMs as well. And now they actually start to be able to take action, use different tools, do reasoning, what tools you use and navigate. And that takes it back to the definition, which is basically just an AI program that can reason and operate autonomously. So now let's jump into my code editor here, just run through a quick example. I'm going to use the Agno framework. It's a pretty nice framework that we're going to use in these videos just to spin up very quick AI agents. We can choose the model, we can choose the tools and also give it instructions. So this is the three main points when we're talking about AI agents. So we're just going to use OpenAI for this. I have my environment variable key where we have our API key, we load that in. Then we can create an agent in this way here from agno.agent import agent. We create an instance of our agent class. We specify the model. So I'm going to use the dbt 40 mini model. We can specify the tool. So for example, here it has reasoning tool, add instructions. We're going to set that equals to true. So before it acts like goes in, takes action using the tools, it goes in and does reasoning steps. So that could be for example, GBT 4.0 mini model doesn't support reasoning or sequential thinking, chain of thought. That's only the O series and some of the other models from Gemini and Sonnet, which has thinking mode. But here we can act like connected with reasoning. So it takes multiple steps, thinks before it takes action. Then we have the Y finance tool, basically just to get some stock information. We give an instruction, use table to display data, only output the report, no other text. We set markdown equal to true, so we get the results out in markdown format. We can call the agent here. If you call print response, it's gonna print out the results. We can set streaming equal to true, so it streams the results and doesn't wait until it has finished the job. So every time it's done generating something, a tool call, some output, it's basically just going to print it. We can also get the results out directly. You can call dot run instead, and then you just get a variable or a generator if you have streaming set to true. Show full reasoning, stream intermediate results here, or the steps, we set that equal to true, and then the input prompt, write a report on NVIDIA. So let's open up a terminal. The only thing that we have to do is just run this agents intro.py. We have the input prompt, write a report on NVIDIA. Now we can see that it is in thinking mode, write a report on NVIDIA. It uses the tool calls, get company information, the symbol NVDA for NVIDIA, get the current stock price, get analyst recommendation, get company news. So this is the tools that are available from YFAN finance tools. We're going to cover way more details, what tools are available, what is a tool, but also how can you create your own tools? Because a tool is basically just a function. So now we can see that it starts to generate the response here based on all the information that it has gathered. And now we got the output results. So we can see we get some details, we get the aspect, so we have the company name, stock symbol, current stock price, the market cap sector, earnings per share, price to earnings ratio, 52 week low and high and so on. So this is very nice information to just pull. We get a summary here, the number of employees, analyst recommendation, and then we can have the title here of the recent news. We pull a summary of the recent news and here we actually just have a report of Nvidia stock. You can do this with any stock, you can do this for anything, we can see how easy it is. It's just a few lines of code. We set up our agent, we call agent with our input prompt. Then it takes the steps, it takes the actions, it does the reasoning. Of course, we can create way more complicated agents out there, but here it actually chooses to use these tools. Stay tuned for more videos. We're going to cover like in 10, 15, 20 videos, everything around AI agents, how to set them up, how to build software systems around it. We're going to create way more detailed ones where we have multiple agents in a workflow, working together as a team, multi-agent architecture. Everything will be covered, so definitely stay tuned.